and welcome to another victory video from me Lauren from Lauren and the books and happy Sunday I'm actually filming this on a Sunday as well hence my actual Sunday hair where I haven't done anything with it and my Sunday makeup the only makeup I've got on is this mascara beep 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 which is I've been to Aldi this morning and bought two legit which is uh, Aldi's dupe for benefits I think they're called they're real um, but this is £5.99 and it's cruelty free and I really needed a new mascara my sister alerted me to the fact of this um, last week and um, and bought it and I'm quite pleased with it I've literally just put it on so it's feeling a bit sticky at the moment um, but yeah anyway today's video if you haven't already guessed is a lovely chat video um, I have done no preparation for this lovely chat video we've had a quite a busy week if you've been following me on Instagram you'll see that we've been decorating the hallway I'll show you how it's looking in a minute um, we're really really pleased with it we went for a green colour um, emerald isle is the colour by crown um, um, and we absolutely love it. It looks so, so nice. My dad's been round. Um, he's been doing the cutting in. And David and I are doing the roller in, the bigger bits. Um, and yesterday David was on lunch duty. And today I was on lunch duty. So David did a little bit more painting today. And I did a little bit more yesterday. But yeah, we're really, really pleased with it. Um, so that's what I'm looking. I'm looking down at it now. Um, so that's what the weekend's been taken up doing. So um, that, hence the reason um, there wasn't a video up this morning. Because I just didn't have a chance. And then I thought, oh, I'll have a shower. And I'll get changed. I'll do my hair and makeup. And I was just like, do you know what? No, I don't want to do my hair and makeup. So I just dried my hair. I've still got a little bit more drying of hair to do. Um, and then just tried, wanted to try out my new mascara to pop that on. So I thought, I'll just film a video in my, in my natural Sunday habitat. David is about to go and play golf with um, my sister's husband. Uh, not golf. They're going to the driving range. Um, so I'm going to crack on with Jane Eyre. Actually, let me go and get my copy of Jane Eyre. I can see it over there. I'm going to get it. So as you may know, this month I've been reading um, books. I've been reading Jane Eyre at the beginning of the month, and I've also been doing. Uh, I also plan to read books that are linked in with Jane Eyre, so either inspired by Jane Eyre, prequels, sequels, uh, retellings, etc. Um, but what I wanted to do before I started all that was read Jane Eyre. Now I am on page. 379 and there is 521 pages so I've got this much left which is basically like probably like a small paperback like it's about 150 pages um I'm really enjoying it I've been really really enjoying reading Jane Eyre but and I'd be interested to find out other people's reading habits as well ordinarily I normally have like two or three books on the go at one one point i always have um an audiobook on the go um which i have got i've also been listening to rebecca by daphne du maurier which although um she never explicitly said it was based on jane eyre there's a hell of a lot of like inspiration and links and things going on there um but ordinarily i would also have um like a non-fiction book on the go as well um, and potentially like another go, like another book, a short story collection, or or if the book I'm reading um, really did, like if I was reading like a YA book or something, I'd have another book on the go. Like if they were different genres, I don't tend to read too many of the same um, genres at the same time. But it's been really, really strange for me to read uh, one book, and it is the is it the ninth of June today? And all I've read this month, I picked this up on the 1st of June and that's all I've been reading. So um, although I'm really, really enjoying it and I am and the storyline I'm, I'm finding quite gripping actually, um, revisiting it because it's been many, many years since I've read it. I am missing the sort of variety of putting this down um, and then um, and then picking up something else. So um, yeah, I'm hoping to make a big dent in that this afternoon. So I've got a comfy, comfy clothes on, comfy t-shirt and leggings. I made a banana cake, a uh, banana, so it was a, a hazelnut and chocolate chip uh, banana loaf this afternoon. The video, uh, the, the, the recipe is sort of taken from, oh, that cookbook that I mentioned in my book called Green by Ellie Pear. My God, everything I've had out of it so far has been absolutely delicious delicious um so i took the base vegan recipe from that but then i had to chuck the chip so it wasn't vegan in the end anyway and i didn't have walnuts so i put hazelnuts in it it's really really nice so i'm gonna sit and have a slice of that and read jane Eyre and crack on um and that is the plan for the sunday and then for dinner tonight david and i we we saw for, we've never seen them before corn bratwurst sausages um in sainsbury's we bought those on friday or yesterday um and i said oh, i really fancy like a sort of dinner of like mash corn bratwurst sausages some sauerkraut some onions so like a bit of a sort of like maybe german inspired dinner so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight um and yeah that that's the rest of the day really sorry if i just uh, flipped you off i didn't mean to do that so that's the rest of the day but yeah let me know what you've been up to on your sunday i'm always interested to hear what people's plans are what they do on sundays um yeah i think this weekend's been a sort of very much a, a diy uh, weekend let me show you now what the um 
what the hallway looks like and then uh, we can then we can move on to other things after can't we oh you're coming with me look at this oh oh we've moved this here as well so this um unit this yellow unit here um used to be out in the hallway and to be fair actually i'll go over there to be fair um when it was in the hallway we didn't really get oh, i'm really out of focus we didn't really get that much use out of it but we've moved it here and this is david's record player these are david's records and these are my records um and then we've got our legos here and then they're just two bag uh, boxes of bags and, and i feel like we're going to get much much use out of it because when it was over in the hallway um we just quite often put like oh really dark uh, we quite often put like carrier bags and things that we knew we needed to take to work and stuff so this is the hallway and this is the color we are absolutely bloody delighted with it. Shut, my sister said it looks like Slytherin headquarters. It is such a good, like, I mean, that's just a green screen, isn't it? Oh, I could use this as a green screen. Um, it is such a good green. It's so, like, opulent. And my dad kept saying the pigmentation in this is just so lovely. This is mini sink. We shouldn't really have that there yet because I don't want her to be touching the wall still. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased with it. We're actually going to get some lockers here. Um, that's where the yellow thing was before. So we're going to get some lockers. We've got, we've still got things to put on the wall with the, the things that we had up before. Um, but yeah, we're really, really delighted with it. And like, this is it with the light. So this is the darkest point of it. Oh, still tools down there. Um, this is it without the, without the lights on. And it's still, it doesn't feel like super dark. There's Minnie's toy on the, uh, on the floor there um, it doesn't feel like super dark but yeah we're absolutely delighted with it really 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 pleased um so that's that so that's what we're doing so yeah that's what our weekend oh, i'll sit down uh, so that's what our weekend has consumed uh, consisted of consumed of um would be very interested to hear what you guys have been up to this weekend um i've got two really exciting things happening this week i'm going to see the spice girls on thursday i'm really 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 excited um my sister and i got tickets last november um we have paid a lot of money for these tickets more money than charlotte and i probably would spend on other things and i think we got a bit caught up in the hoopla of we'd been queuing on an online queue for like two hours to get tickets and then when the tickets come up we were like we'll just have them we don't we don't care we're like we've been doing this for so long we'll just take them so um we are so excited to go and see them at wembley on thursday night really really looking forward to it um i ordered two spice girls tickets uh, two spice girls t-shirts from the website one for my sister and one for me and only mine's turned up um so i need to chase up what's happened to um to charlotte's one if not she can wear my one she's pregnant um so she can wear the one i've got because i bought it in extra large men's and it is massive and then i'll just wear my other one that i've got um but we're so so excited uh, to go and do that so i've got thursday and friday off this week which is super exciting spice girls thursday and then i'm going to see westlife on friday um who are i mean i'm sure you'll you'll know who westlife are but they're an irish uh, i'd say boy band they were a boy band uh, and my friend jenny um is has always been a massive fan and we've actually been to see them this will be the third time we've seen them now um and they sort of disbanded for a while and this is like the comeback tour um and yeah i'm really looking forward to going to see them so that's what we're up to that's what i'm up to thursday and friday so i am going to be shattered come the weekend because that's two nights in london one at wembley which is from where i live wembley is a right arsehole to get to um and then west uh, so spice girls are at wembley and then westlife are at the o2 which is much easier to get to but um i'm driving it's just be like two super late nights um seeing bands that I love and being really excited so next weekend I'm going to be absolutely exalted David just said to me oh I'll cook you a nice dinner on the Saturday so I'm looking forward to that I need to find maybe I'll have a look through my cookbooks this afternoon no you must finish Jane Eyre I'll have a look, well, I will have a look and see what I wanted to cook me because I like to look forward to food. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've got a super duper busy week. I've been, um, I started swimming last weekend as well. You know, when I was doing my um, fast fashion video, I said, oh, well, I don't really wear my swimming costume very much. Well, me, Charlotte, my sister and um, David went swimming on Monday night last week. I was actually surprised at how expensive it was. It was £5.55 and that is um, entry to the swimming pool. Um, so I said to myself, you've got to do 24 lengths because that makes it uh, 25 be a length or something i was like i can't do less than i can't do less than it being worth 25 feeling and it was absolutely heaving in there they'd cut off half of the pool because there was aqua aerobics going on so half of the pool do aqua aerobics and the other half are doing like lane swimming and we were in a lane with uh, me david and charlotte were in a lane with two other blo uh, with two blokes um me and david are really super slow swimmers and my sister who's like seven months pregnant at the moment no i think she might even be more no i think she's seven months pregnant um she is faster than us but obviously seven months pregnant so a bit slower and um we kept getting really lapped by them so i felt bad because like obviously we want to enjoy ourselves swimming but like they also want to enjoy themselves swimming and there it wasn't laid out like slow medium 
fast um so it got a bit sort of clashy and they were sort of like trying to overtake us and then those two were clashy they weren't together the guys um so we moved along to another um thing so we, we're planning on going again we want to go more often um but we want to go a bit later because um we noticed that sort of by about quarter to nine people were leaving so we want to do maybe like quarter to nine till half past nine um but yeah hopefully we'll do that but i can't go every week because i don't want to ruin my hair like my hair is bleached and chlorine does not do good for it like last week when i went to it i did go under the water which i don't ordinarily do um oh the rest of the week like even after i'd washed it it was so hard to get a brush through it so um i don't want to go all the time but also on a wednesday um they do a session called this girl can where it's girls only so obviously david can't come um but it's two pound for lane swimming i haven't been before but my sister has been and she says it's really really busy but if we ever or if david doesn't want to go on a monday or if we ever don't go on a monday i'm going to try and go on a wednesday um so i'd like to go sort of like once a week but maybe leave a week for my hair to recover um but yeah really really enjoyed it i felt bloody wonderful the next day actually i felt like i i slept amazingly that night and i didn't ache the next day it was just lovely i think it's because swimming for me is although it's exercise and i am moving my body when i'm doing it it's not like it's strenuous because I'm I learned to swim really late like I learned to swim when I was about I think I was about like 12 or 13 I was quite it was, I, I came to swimming quite late um and I've, it's never been my strong it's never been something I've been strong at I've always been sort of like okay and I can swim but not great um so yeah so I think that's maybe why I'm a bit slow but yeah I don't I don't sort of go and get really knackered because I'm just going and just doing my best basically um so yeah so that was really nice to start swimming last week and hopefully I'll be doing a little bit more um yeah I'll have to find out might text my sister in a minute actually and find out if we are going tomorrow because if not I'll go Wednesday um so yeah so so that's what I've been up to recently let me know what you've been up to I don't know if there's anything more to report I haven't really I haven't prepped for this at all um I've literally just thought oh god must film a video um and pop it out now so yeah plans for the afternoon i'm gonna sit and read jane air have a cup have a bit of cake have a nice cup of tea and yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i haven't watched the new there's black mirror on um netflix now oh god did anyone watch graham norton on friday night andrew scott was on there as in andrew scott the sexy priest from fleabag he was just an absolute dream come true he was just so interested in it what everyone was saying might rewatch that actually. Uh oh. Um, so yeah. So that's my plans for Sunday. Let me know what you've been up to this weekend. Let me know how you spend your Sundays. Always interested to hear how you spend your Sundays. Do you want to just come and say hello, David, in your golf gear? Here he is. All right. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are How's you? Your, just. Oh, you're gonna kiss me. No. <laughs> I was just asking. Uh, just asking people how they spend their Sundays. What's your ideal Sunday? Um. Just lazing about. Lazing about. David does like a lot of lazing about, don't you? Has Stuart got back to you? Yeah, we are, we're going at half four. Oh, okay, cool. Okay then, well that's it from us. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Uh, and uh, I guess we'll see you all again soon for another picture video. Bye! <laughs>